could you survive a wild animal attack? Oh my God, he's, he's, he's. Are you prepared to face an animal attack? It's a terrifying situation that can happen when you least expect it. In this video, we'll be exploring the crucial steps you need to take in order to survive an animal attack. Whether you're out hiking in the wilderness or simply encountering wildlife in your own backyard, knowing how to react can be a matter of life or death. We'll be covering everything from how to identify potential threats to the importance of staying calm and assertive during an encounter. We'll also provide practical tips on how to defend yourself and escape from dangerous animals. Don't wait until it's too late. Prepare yourself now and increase your chance of survival when faced with an unexpected animal attack. Watch this video to learn valuable strategies that could help save your life. What to do if you see a bear. If you do happen upon a bear, or it happens upon you, the U.S. National Park Service advises you stay where you are or move slowly to the side. Don't run or scream, as this may trigger the bear to chase you. Don't climb a tree since both grizzlies and black bears can climb too. Instead, make yourself seem like difficult big prey. Slowly wave your arms to make yourself appear large. Stand tall and try to remain calm. Talk out loud both to calm yourself and to indicate to the bear that you're a human. If the bear stands on its hind legs, it's just trying to get a better look and not necessarily being aggressive. Remember, most bears are just as scared of you as you are of them. If attacked by a grizzly bear, the National Park Service says you should play dead, laying with your stomach down since it's more easily ripped open and leave your backpack on if you have one to better protect yourself. The advice is different with a smaller black bear. Don't play dead. Instead, try to escape or fight back. You should concentrate your hits on the animal's face and muzzle. Make a lot of noise when in bear country to keep animals from being startled and avoid food sources like berry bushes. Keep your own food and trash securely stowed and travel in groups. With bears and all animals, Never place yourself between a mother and her young. What to do if you come in contact with an alligator? If you ever encounter an alligator, stay calm. Don't run or make sudden movements. Slowly back away from the alligator to create distance. Keep eye contact with the alligator at all times. If the alligator charges, run away in a straight line. Do not climb trees or fences to escape. Pets look like tasty prey to alligators, so avoid swimming with your dog and keep pets away from waters where alligators have been seen in the past. Avoid swimming at night when gators are most active and never try to feed the animals or swim in areas where warnings are posted. In the rare event that an alligator attacks, fight back aggressively. Use anything you can find as a weapon, like sticks or rocks. If it takes grasp, the best defense is to poke at an alligator's eyes and hit it on the head. With these blows, try to get the animal to <coughs> gag and release you. When the animal opens its mouth to reposition, take advantage of the moment and flee. Have you ever wondered what you should do if you encounter a cougar? First and foremost, do not run away. This can trigger the cougar's instincts to chase. Quietly move away if the animal doesn't seem to notice you. But if it already has, try to make yourself hear big. If you happen to have an umbrella, quickly open and close it while facing the cougar to try to scare it off. The Puma director for Panthera, a global wildlife conservation group, gives this suggestion. Clap your hands hard and yell at the same time. Face the cat and be aggressive. Take two quick steps towards the cat or even charge the animal, which is the best way to send them running. Do not, under any circumstances, run away, he adds, since the big cats can always outrun humans. Keep your eyes on the animal. Don't look away. If the cougar comes closer and none of those tactics have worked, throw objects like rocks or water bottles at it. Watch for signs of cougars including claw marks and scat on hiking trails. Select campsites far from rock overhangs and cliffs or thick brush. If the cougar attacks, go away! Nope. Fight back with everything that you have. Sticks, rocks, or even your bare hands. What to do if you run into a bison? 
Bison attacks are rare, but they can be deadly. The animals can move at speeds of 30 miles per hour or more, hop over high fences, and they're also strong swimmers. Say what? Stay in your vehicle if possible, and don't walk towards the animal to get a closer look. If it seems to have noticed you, you are too close and you should back away slowly. Stay at least 25 yards away, and preferably stay in your car. Do not run or make sudden movements, as this can agitate the animal. Give the bison plenty of space and avoid getting between it and any nearby calves. If the bison approaches you, Make yourself look bigger by raising your arms or jacket above your head. Ladies Speak in a calm, firm voice to show the bison you are not a threat. If the bison charges at you, run and quickly find cover behind a tree or boulder. Once the bison has calmed down, slowly back away to safety. What to do if you run into a coyote? If you encounter a coyote while out in nature, remain calm. Do not run, as this can trigger their chase instinct. As with bears, make noise that would alert the animals to your presence, and if one still approaches, try to make yourself look big, wave your arms, and make loud noises. If the coyote approaches, throw rocks or sticks in its direction to scare it off. Never feed a coyote, as it can lead to them becoming more comfortable around humans. Keep pets on a leash and do not let them interact with the coyote. Keep pets inside at night and secure all garbage and food. Motion activated lights and electric fencing to better protect livestock are also key deterrents for coyote encounters. If a coyote is exhibiting aggressive behavior, back away slowly while facing the animal and always report any aggressive coyote encounters to the local wildlife authorities. Remember, coyotes are a natural part of the ecosystem and they play an important role in controlling rodent populations. If a coyote does bite a person, it would likely need to be removed from the wild and tested for rabies. So report any attacks to local authorities immediately. What would you do if you came face to face with a moose? Encountering a moose can be an awe-inspiring experience, but it's important to remember that they are wild animals and can be unpredictable. Here are some guidelines on what to do if you see a moose. If you spot a moose, maintain a safe distance. Respect its territory and avoid getting too close, especially if it has calves with it. Don't make sudden movements or loud noises. This might startle the moose. Stay calm and move slowly. If you're in a vehicle, stay inside and observe from a safe distance. Moose can be aggressive if they feel threatened, so never approach them on foot. Feeding wild animals can disrupt their natural behaviors and create dependencies on humans. So keep all food and garbage securely stored to avoid attracting wildlife. If a moose starts to display aggressive behavior, such as raising its hackles, lowering its head, or licking its lips, back away slowly and give it plenty of space. Ensure that there's always an escape route for the moose. If it feels trapped or cornered, it may become defensive. Moose are generally not territorial animals, but they can become aggressive if they feel threatened or if you intrude on their space, especially during mating season or when they have calves. The Alaska Department of Fish and Game notes that there are more people injured by moose than by bears in the state each year. What to do if you see a snake? If you encounter a snake, it's important to remain calm and take appropriate precautions. Snakes usually won't attack unless provoked, so leave them alone and try to give them their space when you're outside. Most snakes will try to avoid confrontation if given the opportunity. If you see a snake nearby, avoid sudden movements. Snakes primarily rely on their sense of smell and vibration to detect potential threats, so staying still can help prevent startling them. Avoid touching or attempting to pick up the snake. Even non-venomous snakes can bite if they feel threatened or cornered. If possible, try to identify the species of the snake from a safe distance. Knowing whether the snake is venomous or non-venomous can help you determine the level of risk and appropriate actions to take. Once you've given the snake enough space and ensured your own safety, slowly and calmly leave the area. Make sure to watch your surroundings as you move away to avoid accidentally stepping on another snake. Assume the snake is venomous. 
if you are attacked, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention advises not to apply a tourniquet or attempt to suck out any venom. Try to sit or lay still and remain calm while you await help. Take a photograph of the snake from a safe distance, if possible, to help with treatment. If possible, also clean the wound, cover it, and mark the edge of the affected area of the skin. Remember, never pick up a snake, even if you think it's dead. Wear thick shoes and long pants if hiking in areas with snakes, and poke at the ground in front of you with a long stick when possible. Snakes play a valuable role in the ecosystem as natural pest controllers, and most species are harmless to humans. Attempting to capture or kill a snake can increase the risk of injury to yourself or others and may not be necessary. Remember, the goal is to observe wildlife from a safe distance and minimize any potential conflicts for both human safety and the well-being of the animals. The best defense is knowledge and preparation. Educate yourself on the wildlife in your area and have a plan in case of an attack. Stay safe out there and be ready for anything. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Have you ever experienced an animal attack? Share your story in the comments below.